So Ryan Dungey said in an interview that on race day, uh, says he tries to load up on carbohydrates to keep himself feeling fueled for the long day. I like to eat more carbs than I usually would during the week because I always want to feel topped off and not feel like I'm lacking in anything. In the morning, I'll usually have eggs paired with oatmeal, cereal or toast. I like to have very smoothies on race day with protein inside. It's easy to digest and keeps me going for the day. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Andrew Hammer uh, and I've worked with hundreds of riders and racers from around the world to get them race fit and race ready. Um, so from this information, again, some more specific and some a little bit vague, how do you actually take this information from what, what Ryan has given us and actually implement it into your own riding and racing? There's three areas that we need to learn about here. First of all is complex carbs. So complex carbs are carbohydrates that are high in starch. So examples of these are things like sweet potato, potato, brown rice, rice, quinoa, pumpkin. Now, because they're higher in starch, they take a lot longer for our body to break down and use as energy. And they're also quite heavy when we first consume them. So for a race day, in terms of giving you an exact strategy that you can use for your next ride, three to four hours before you go and ride a race, you want to increase the amount of complex carbs. Okay, so in the morning for breakfast, roughly four hours before your first ride or race, increase your potatoes, sweet potatoes, brown rice, rice, quinoa, and you can also do that the night before as well. That's step one. Step two is simple carbs. Simple carbs are already refined and broken down into sugar. So this could be things like fruit, it could be carb gels, could even be lollies and chocolates. So simple carbs are easy for our body to break down because they're already broken down into sugar. And because it's already broken down into sugar, it gives us a rapid boost of energy in a very short period of time, but it doesn't last very long. So how can we utilize this for a race day? Roughly 45 minutes or half an hour before every ride or race, we want to increase your simple carbs. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. You can either use a carbohydrate drink, which you can buy as a supplement and mix with some water, and have one carb drink or half a carb drink, depending on how much carbs are in there, before each ride, before each race. Or the other thing that you can do, which is um, also easy, is having a serving of fruit. So you can have an apple, have a banana, have a pear, roughly 45 minutes before you go and ride, to make sure we've got your simple carbs topped up as well. This way we've got your simple and complex carbs topped up, and we're doing like Ryan says, we're making sure your fuel tank is topped up and overflowing, so that you're ready to go and ready to race. The third thing is protein. So you wanna make sure after every ride and every race, we've caused muscle damage. We've put our body through strenuous activity by riding and racing at high intensity. So what we need to do is give our body the building blocks to help those muscles repair, recover, and recharge. And the, the nutrient that does that is protein. So we need to make sure that after each ride or after each race, we're getting an adequate amount of protein back into our body so that our body can rebuild and recharge ready for the next race and then also to allow you to be able to train and perform well during the week and hopefully get ready for the next weekend of riding and racing. How do you do this? One way that you can do this is using a protein shake. So like Ryan was saying, he mixes the protein in with his smoothie, with his fruit, with his simple carbs. Uh, but another way you can do this is after every ride is have a protein shake or half a protein shake, um, depending on the races. If it's a motocross race and it's maybe a 15 minute event, probably half a protein shake. If it's a longer enduro rider race and you're on the bike for about an hour, then you can probably get away with having a full protein shake. This is gonna ensure that you're giving your body the building blocks that it needs. Common problem that I see here is people will try and use real food to get their protein in. Normally I'm an advocate for using real food and not using supplements. However, on race day, your body's under a lot of stress. And because your body's under a lot of stress, your digestive system starts to shut down and is suppressed. It doesn't work as well. That's why when you go to the gym and do a hard workout, you don't feel like eating straight away. On race, riding and race day, if you're riding hard, you're gonna experience something similar. So if you're trying to get a steak in, just after you've had a ride or race, number one, you're probably not gonna feel like eating it. Number two, if you did force it in, your body's not gonna digest it and break it down and get the protein out in time to be able to help your muscles to repair. So when we use a supplement like a protein shake, is our body has very little, if any, digestion of that protein because it's already broken down, which means it can deliver the protein to our muscles a lot quicker and help us to recharge and feel better for the rest of the day.